Now the final steps of our optimization are to turn off automatic Windows Defender operation, turn off Windows search indexing, turn off remote differential compression, add a USB flash drive of 2 gig or more if you have one. This will help quite a bit, but it's optional of course. Turn off Windows Hibernation because it uses a lot of memory. Unless you want to use in Windows Hibernation, you should turn it off. And disable unused Windows features. So let's start with turning off automatic Windows Defender operation. Okay, to turn off Windows Defender, open up your control panel, go to Security, and then where it says Windows Defender, go into Windows Defender here. Go into Tools, Options, and then uncheck Automatically Scan My Computer. Click Save. Then after you do that, you need to go into Services, and you need to turn off the service. So we'll go into System and Maintenance down to Administrative Tools, Services, pops up a window, go down to Windows Defender, okay, stop it, And then make sure it's set to either manual or disabled. And so we'll just right click, go to properties, and then we will disable it. And now Windows Defender won't start anymore. Okay, next we're going to turn off the indexing service. So let's close this. And we'll close this. And then we will bring up my computer. Then right click on your install drive or your main boot drive, click on properties. And then down here at the bottom it says index this drive for faster searching. Just uncheck that, click OK. And then click OK again. Okay, wants it to break. This is an administrative function, so Windows Security is giving us this error message, so just go ahead and give your security information here, and it will be all set up. Okay, and it will go along, and you can see it de-indexing everything. And once it's done, that step will be complete. Now, two of these next ones we can do at once. Turning off Windows Differential Compression and uninstalling some of the unused Windows components. So to do that, go to Control Panel, and then go on to Classic View. And then what we want to do is go to Programs and Features. Then over here, turn off, turn Windows features on and off. So click on that. Okay, it's loading up the features that are installed on our computer. Okay, and here's where you can turn off any that you don't need. So we can turn off the games in this case. Got the NAT framework. We want to leave that on. Print service is going to want remote differential compression. Turn that off. And then any other things in here that you don't use. Tablet PC optional components. I don't need that one. Okay, Windows Meeting Space, I don't use that. And Windows DFS Replication Service, you notice if you hold your mouse over it, it tells you what they do. So replicate files among multiple PCs. Keeping them in sync. Okay, so I can turn that one off as well. And once I have that the way I want it, I just click OK. And it can reconfigures the features. Okay, and then you would restart your computer an hour later 
to finish that step. Okay, and then the last step we want to go over is adding a USB flash drive. Now, if we go to my computer, and you had a flash drive installed, which I don't happen to have, but if you had, you install a flash drive into a USB port, and we'll say that this is it here. If you right click on it, and click on properties, you'll see over here something called Ready Boost. If you click on that, you can enable Ready Boost over here. And that will actually use that drive as extra memory. And now the last thing we want to do is to turn off the hibernation. So go into your control panel, and then go into system and maintenance, go into power options, and then go to high performance if you're not already there. Go to change plan settings, and then put the computer to sleep, make sure that it says never. Okay, once you've done that, you've disabled the sleep portion of your computer. Now you have done what is necessary to get the most performance out of your Windows 5 system.